Oops. Hello, YouTube. As you can see, I'm going to do a quick Minecraft video. Well, actually, a two-part video. First, let me introduce myself. My screen name is WLJK. Um, my real name is Bill. Actually, William. But everybody calls me Bill or Willie or whatever. And I did this little YouTube video as an introduction to a friend who started a Facebook page for Minecraft. And I figured I'd give a little tour and uh, show them what I have. And Anthony, if you're paying attention, there, I just shocked you. Um, show them a little couple things that him and his friends may not know. Now, first off, these are my kennels. Got one poor little wolf. I gotta find another one. I could spawn them, but why should I when I got two, four, six, seven of them? These all came naturally. Matter of fact, the day that the update for the wolves came out, they sort of walked upon me as a wolf pack. Now, explain something first. I'm playing on peaceful, so obviously I can't kill any skeletons to get bones. This is what I use to get the bones. Now, I only use this for the crafting in Minecraft like a lot of people do. I don't do it to get the ores and stuff. I actually do go out and mine these. Um, the rest of the stuff I get as I need it. Um, obviously, I don't need armor. Now, let me explain my skin. For those who are Transformer fans, or may know someone that's a Transformer fan, this is Grimlock. He is probably, I know he's my wife's favorite character, but he's probably mine too. Um, now, to tie in with the screen name, WLJK, I use that, and I'll probably put the websites that I refer to in the notes um, no, they're not going to be shameless plugs. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is my rather boring party deck. Now, reason why it's rather boring, because obviously there's nothing here. Yeah, I got the, the furnace slash grill. I got, you know, the crafting table and the chest. Um, now, for those who are wondering, the skin, or not the skin, the texture pack is Minecraft for Kids 64 by 64. I did run the 128 version but it slowed Minecraft way down even with uh, my quad core system I tried it with recording with some tests so I went I reverted back to the 64 version it works a little better not as many graphic artifacts and stuff and when I used the 128 the horizon where the water met the sky actually turned purple so I figured it was part of the texture pack problem I took care of it by reverting now uh, back to the uh, Transformer thing. When I started really getting into the internet, um, that was like at the infancy of YouTube, and that's when forum pages were just starting to get the graphics and stuff. Um, here we got my bedroom. Um, I turned around and found a Transformer website because, like I said, I'm a huge Transformer fan. And I couldn't think of a screen name. So, you know, this is was before the time of, you know, internet security, all that, da 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 da, da. So I turned around and used the initials of my name, my big screen TV and stereo, with a little bit of a library, couch, and a table, fireplace. I'll explain fireplace here in a minute. But, um... I turned around and just did my initials, and everybody on that website thought it was an abbreviation for another Transformer called Wheeljack, which I didn't think of it at the time, but it made sense. Now, I didn't think of that when I made this world, because as you saw from the screen, Grimlock's world, um, I tied too many things into Grimlock. So, um, I kept the... Grimlock skin. Now, to let you know, this is what I started out with. This little room. 
and it was actually smaller than this when I started. Uh, I made this fireplace. This is actually the second revision of this fireplace because the first one I made, I didn't realize the rules for fire and it ended up catching the wood over here on fire and I actually had everything engulfing fire. So everything you see is like revision two. That's why obviously the party deck is boring because I don't have the built-in fire pit and everything else redone yet. Now this is the original mine which you'll see the bottom of it here in a minute but it goes way down it actually goes down to bedrock and if you can imagine that's quite a pain in the butt having um, making axes and or not axes pickaxes to turn around and dig all that um, oh it's night time now okay these guys I'll explain a minute for the some of you who are watching it, if you follow these guys, you know who it is. If not, I'll put yeah. a link yeah. down in the notes. But um, we'll start and we'll continue over here. This is my wheat farm, or not wheat farm, sorry, reed farm. Now, none of this was spawned. I actually uh, found a small patch of reeds. This took quite a bit to do. As you can see, it's quite long and it is quite deep. Um... I got harvested again. That's all natural. Um, made this little farm with the wheat. Once again, all natural. Um, didn't spawn any of that. Now here, here's another hint. Cats. <laughs> yeah, creature cats, creature. Here's another uh, example of stuff tied in. Now, when I was making this, I had like old McGrimlock's farm, <laughs> but I had to turn around and say I had to put this in. Because this is like my favorite line out of the 1986 Transformer Kids. animated movie. Yeah, yeah. Me, Grimlock, say you full of beryllium baloney. Like I said, that, w that was my Kids. one favorite line. <laughs> now here you got swimming pool, swim at your own risk. You know, can't have any robots drowning in a pool. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, they can't swim. There's a diving board off that small transition deck over there. Kids. Um but yeah, I got you know the entrance to the bottom room, which is basically the the old mine. Um, got transition doorway into the living room area. Got steps going up to the party deck and the upper area. And then you got this. You got Grimlock's mining mine cart dispatch employees only, and pedestrian visitors walkway. Now this goes across the top of the building and around to the track that I'm going to show you here. Now. Yes, I'm not showing the sign because there's going to be a little story behind that too. I'll see if I can get this working. There we go. Oh, I went to the wrong one. That wasn't supposed to go there. I forgot I set it to the other one. So give me one second here. We'll just do this real quick. Where is the mine carts? Oh, obviously, it's on the first page. There they are. And I fail again. I forgot where the booster track was. Ooh. Don't know why it does that. It randomly knocks me out and takes some damage. Hence another reason why I play on peaceful. Because I'm I'm not in this game I felt that the fighting was good. It was nice to turn around and fight, you know the uh this will actually let me see if this works. Hey, you get to see a test that I haven't done yet. But I, I like the idea of, you know, fight the skeletons, you get the arrows and stuff, and I'm going to catch up this minecart so quick it's going to be ridiculous. Maybe not. Um, but the the fighting didn't really reward me enough, in my opinion. So I turned around and just started doing the mining and building because that seemed like what everybody was doing. Um, now let me explain this track. This track, for those who have not got the achievement or those who have, this is my one kilometer track. This is the track I used to, and made to turn around and get the 1,000 or 1,000 meter or one kilometer uh, achievement. Which, by the way, I think the reason why they didn't update any more achievements is because Notch did that experiment for the announced 360 version 
which I doubt I'm going to get. I think I'm going to stick with this because, you know, you get all the mods and the packs and everything else. I don't think that's going to be really available, maybe not at first, on the 360 version. Besides, I don't feel like fla flailing my arms around to turn around and build stuff, even though you can use the controller. Um, but like I said, this is the 1,000 meter or the 1 kilometer. A lot of people made the mistake of making it into a circle and riding it forever. I even did that at the beginning. But that wasn't the uh, the purpose. You had to make a one kilometer straight line. Now, yes, there's a zigzag here, but... Oh, this is going to screw me up. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Let me do this. Get rid of this one. We'll move that one back in. We'll take the ride back. Um... Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride this back. Now, I could just teleport to my spawn point, but like I said, I, I don't like using the cheats that much. I just like the uh, the, texture, the uh, items mod for building. Now, before we go any further, yes, I do have the single line commands, but I just use it for that day 228. That's a little deceiving because I've turned around and changed it to uh, daytime quite a bit. So I've been playing this since I think 1.2. Haven't been playing it every day. Um, I finally got a new computer system that's letting me run finally all the newer games. Um, this system will actually let me play Crisis, which is a system killer, but it'll let me play Crisis at pretty much full everything. I've been tinkering with it. Um, that brings me to another point. I will probably do, I'm more than likely going to do more than just Minecraft, because everybody's doing Minecraft. Between Minecraft and Terraria, um... I know YouTube is pretty flooded with them. Um, I could do... I do have, like, Call of Duty stuff on my computer. But uh, everybody's doing the Call of Duty. Plus, i got to turn around and look into more stuff. Um, like, what you can and cannot post. Because I know some game companies don't want you to post game screen... You know, cut scenes and endings and whatnot. So... I'm going to turn around and get see if I can get some friendly advice. Um, I cannot do any 360 or PS3. Two reasons. One, PS3 don't own one. Don't know if I'm going to get one. I wouldn't mind getting one. But um, as we come back and go down to the bottom, this is going to go to the bottom of the mine. Once we get down here, I'm going to um, finish my little story here, which, ah, now that was neat. I did not do that intentionally. And uh, the story is, I I have the 360. I don't have a PS3. I do not have a capture device yet for the 360. And right now, the games I own for the 360 are pretty much the games that everybody's been doing. You know, Black Ops, which I should have got on the PC instead of the 360, but I didn't have the uh, setup yet for the uh black ops and uh so i'm torn up i'm doing a lot of research i mean if any of you who watch this want to recommend i'm torn between the black magic infinity pro and the hodgepodge external but the hodgepodge you have to use the component uh cables to uh go through um i have the, I can get the analog cables from the 360, but I cannot hook the analog component cables into my monitor because I'm using my monitor as, also as my gaming screen. So I'm thinking of going with the intensity because you can turn around once you get to the intensity, you can go HDMI out. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to explain all this once I come back. So. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.